Let's proceed with computing a normal probability to a standard normal probability. Where you need to find the Z value given the mean, standard deviation, and Z. So we have the formula for standard normal value. We have this one. So take note for this. We have Z is equal to X minus mean divided by SD. Where Z is the Z value, which is yung nasa table po natin. X is the value of any observation or measurement. Mean, or the mean of the distribution, this is called mu. And then, this is the symbol for the SD, the standard deviation of the distribution. So, para makuha mo daw yung Z po, pakitake note ang formula natin ha. You need to... Uh, so, x minus mean divided by st. Yan. Okay. So, again, we have this table. So, gagamitin na po natin siya hanggang sa matapos ng ating discussion. So, example na po tayo. The average pag-ibig salary loan for IFS Pharmacy Inc. employees is 23,000 pesos. If the debt is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 2,500, find the probability that the employee owes less than 18,500 pesos. So, we are solving for the probability that the employee owes less than 18,500 pesos. So, again... We have Z is equal to X minus mean over D S D. So, kunin natin yung formula. And after the formula po, tulad natin syempre yung given. Ano yung X? Ano yung mean? Ano yung S D? Okay? Yan. So, ano po ang ating mean? Ano ang mean natin? Anong sabi daw? Average. So, again, pag sinabi natin average, that is... The mean. Tama? So, ang average daw po natin is 23,000 pesos. So, since mean is 23,000 pesos, yun yung ilalagay natin dito sa gitna. Ayan. And then, ang sabi po dito, oh no, this is mean ha. Sa X ko siya nasulat. This is mean. Ayan. 23,000 pesos. Next, if the depth is normally distribution, distributed with a standard deviation of 2,5, o given na po, ayan na po yung SD mo, SD mo daw ay 2,500 pesos. So, para makuha mo yung SD mo na 2,500 pesos, syempre po, minus ka lang ng minus ng 2,5 from the mean. So, 23,000 minus 2,5, that is... That is 21, are you sure? Yeah, 20,500 pesos. Ayan yung una. Kasi nag-minus lang tayo sa mean. Kung dito naman, sa kanan, add naman ng 2,500. And that is 25,500. Tama. And then dito naman, ang sabi po, owes less than 18,500 pesos. So, since 18,500 pesos yan, let's say this is 18,000. Tama? Kasi minus tayo ng minus ng 25. Eh. 23 minus 25, 20,500. Minus 25, that is 18,000. Pero ang sabi po, less than 18,500. So, meaning, yun po yung ating magiging x. Nasa ng 18.5? Let's say ito siya. Ito si 18.5. At ang sabi po, less than daw. O, less than daw na 18.5. Nasaan yun? Ito po. Yan. Mahalaga po na alam nyo kung anong area ang hinahanap sa ating given na, na problem ha. Kasi doon nyo po makikita kung ilang percent or kung ano po yung probability. So, yan lang po yung hinahanap. Yung less daw po sa 18,500. At para makuha yun, gagamitin nyo po yung formula ni Z. So, that is X minus mean is equal to SD. And that is 18,500 minus 23,000 
divide by 2,500, which is yung SD natin. So, minus nyo po, 18,500 minus 23,000. So, mas malaki, minus sa maliit. So, syempre, negative ang sagot. Tama ba? So, that is 4,500 na negative. Divide by 2,500. So, divide nyo na po yung dalawa. Negative 4,500. Divide by 2,500. That is negative 1.8. Yan. Negative 1.8. Pero hindi pa dyan natatapos. Okay? Negative 1.8 siya. So, kung ilalagay natin siya sa ating curve na given po sa mean i0, nakuha na natin yung z na negative 1.8. So, let's say negative 1.8. Less than sa negative 1.8. So, ito yun. Same lang. Pinalitan lang natin ng value yung ating given dito sa baba. Since nakuha na natin yung z-scores niya. Ang tawag po kasi dito mga anak, ayan, ito po, yan po ay x-scores. Okay, ito naman, ang tawag naman natin po dito ay z-scores. Okay, si so, x-scores given yan, minsan hindi rin siya given, and then z-scores po yun yung sa table. So, para makuha nyo kung ilang percent or kung ano yung probability na less than sa 18.5, yung negative 1.8 po, hahanapin nyo siya sa table. Baliktad naman ngayon, ang, ay hindi pala, same pa din pala yun. 1.8 lang. So, nasan yun? 1.8, ito yung 1.8 mo. Since 1.8 lang, 0, 0 yun. Tama? So, nasan yun? Ito po. And that is 46.8. 41%. O, ano, nga, ano lang ngayon ang 46.41%? O, sige, huwag muna natin siyang i-percentage. As decimal natin siya. 0.4641. O, nasaan yun? Ang 0.4641 po na yan, mga anak, ay ito po yan. Okay? Huwag niyong kakalimutan na lagi pong from the mean, eh ang kinukuha mo po is less than sa negative 1.8. So, para makuha mo yan, anong gagawin mo? 0.50 or 0.50 or 50% minus 46.42. Pero gamitan mo natin ng decimal para mas clear sa inyo. Ayan. Okay. So, 0. Uh, 50, 0.50 minus 0. 0.4641 that is 0.0359. And we, when you transform it into percentage, multiply it to 100, that is 3.59%. And this will be your final answer, which is ito na yun. Okay? Kasi ito po, yung 40.4641 from the million. E ang hinahanap mo is less than. So, ima-minus mo pa siya sa 0.50. Okay? Next. So, dito po, pakita ko lang sa inyo yung step by step. Pero na-solve na natin siya ng buo na. Nakuha na rin natin yung final answer. So, step 1 mo po lagi, gagawin mo po muna ha, ay given po yung mean, ilalagay mo siya sa curve, tapos yung given ng x, which is 18.5. Tapos, shishidan mo kung ano yung area na hinahanap. Yan yung step 1. Step 2, hahanapin mo na yung value. Ayan. Given po yung x natin na 18,500. At nakuha na nga natin siya. That is negative 1.80 or 1.8. That is just the same. Okay? Next. Para, uh, para makuha mo na yung 1.80, ano nang sunod mong gagawin? So, solve mo na ngayon kung ano yung ilang percent yung shaded part or yung area na hinahanap. So, ang sabi po, negative 1.18 na kuha mo, ba? And that is from the mean. So, nakuha mo doon is ito po, 0 0.4641. Pero hindi pa doon nagtatapos kasi from the mean yun, yung hinahanap ay less than. So, you need to subtract it to 50. And, so, final answer will be 0 0.0359 if yung kinukuha is decimal or 3.59%. Okay? Next. 
Ayan, direct sample. A radar unit is used to measure speeds, of course, on a motorway. The speeds are normally distributed with a mean of 90 km per hour and a standard deviation of 10 km per hour. What is the probability that a car peak at random is traveling at more than 100 km per hour? So, again, anong step 1 natin? Is, ilalagay natin siya sa curve, given mo na yung mga x cores. So, gawin natin yun. Okay. So, mas sabi po, the speed are normal dis distribution with the mean. O, nandiyan na yung mean, which is 90. Sulit so, na rin natin yung given. Next, standard deviation daw ay 10. Pag sinabing standard deviation ay 10, meaning, pababa ng pababa, Minus 10. Pataas ng pataas, plus 10. Tama ba? So, this is 80, this is 70, this is 60, and so on. This is 100, 110, 120, and so on. Kasi nga, 10 yung inyong SD. Okay. Ngayon, ang sabi po, probability daw na ang mapipili mong car is nagtatravel more than 100 kilometers. So, ngayon, yung X na hinahanap mo is 100. Ano ngayon yung sinasabing um, 100 km? More than 100 km. Ito yung 100 mo. Tama? So, let's say this is your 100. At ang hinahanap mo po ay probability na more than sa 100. Nasa naman yun ngayon? Ito po. Reshaden mo yung part na hinahanap mo para hindi ka malito pag nag-solve ka na ng value. Okay, yan yung hinahanap mo. Ngayon, solve mo na yung z. So, z natin is x minus mean divided by s. So, that is 100 minus 90 divided by 10. So, 10 divided by 10, that is 1. Okay, tama ba? This is equal to 1. So, equal sa 1. O, oh, again, that is from the mean. The mean pa lang, ha? So, 1 po. Ngayon, kung mag-drawing ulit tayo ng normal curve, ita-transform natin siya into z scores. z scores na. Ito yung 0. Let's say ito yung 1. Kasi equal siya sa 1. And then, more than sa 1 ang hinahanap. So, ito yun. Same pa din. Okay, ito yung form lang natin into z squares yung given. Ngayon, kunin mo na nga yung equivalent niya sa ating table. So, balikan natin yung table natin. Okay, ang sabi doon, 1. O, para pag sinabi 1, 1 ang whole number or 0, 0.00. Okay, 1 pa yung 0, ito yun. And then, 0, 0, ito yun. So, that is 34... 0.13% or 0.3413. Ma? This is equivalent to 0.3413. So, anong ibig sabihin ng 0.3413? Nasaan yun? That is from the mean. Ito po yun. Naintindihan? Ito po yan ha, 0.3413. Tandaan lagi na yung hinahanap nyo, laging galing siya sa mean dapat. Galing po siya sa mean. Okay? So, since ito yung part na hinahanap nyo, ano ngayon yung gagawin mo? Ima-minus mo siya sa 0.50. Okay? So, that is 0.50 minus 0.3413 and that is 0. Point. What is the answer? Okay. So, 50%. 50% minus 34.30. So, that is 0. 0.1587. And when you transform it into percentage... That is 15.87%. Okay? 
0.87%. And this will be your final answer. Kung ang hinahan nyo ay interest. Ay, ngayon. Okay po? Next. Next one. So, next example natin, the average of bank managers is 40 years. Assume that variable is normally distributed. If the standard deviation is 5 years, find the probability that the age of a randomly selected bank manager will be in the range between 35 and 46 years old. Yan. So, given po natin average 40 so, that will be the mean. Next, SD5. Given na rin. Ang sabi po dito, nagre-range po dapat yung age ng bank manager between 35 and 46. So, meron kayong dalawang nakikitang X, tama? So, dalawa rin po ang ating X. X is equal to 35 and X sub 2 will be equal to 46. So, dalawa po ang inyong magiging solving dyan. Okay, dalawa po yung inyong magiging say. So, lagay muna natin siya sa, sa ating curve. So, age is 40, average. Ang sabi po is 35. Let's say this is 35. And this is 46. Ayan. Ang sabi po, between. Between, ha? Ang nag ng between nga sa pagitan. So, ang hinang hinahanap nyo, eto po ang hinahanap ninyo sa inyong curve. Yan po yung area na hinahanap. Kung ilang percent yung area na yan. So, unahin muna natin yung unang x na given. That is, x minus mean over z. Ay, over sd. Which is, is the formula for z. Okay po? So, ang x natin ay 35 minus 14 divided by 5. So, that is negative 5 divided by 5, which is equal to negative. Next, yun sa naman. Ganun pa din yung formula. Kasi nawawala pa din naman dito z pa din. So, this is yung pangalawa naman na x. 46 minus 40 divided by 5. And that is positive 6 over 5, which is equal to 1.2. Okay. So, negative 1, tsaka 1.2. So, kung idodraw natin siya sa ating curve, this is 0. And then, negative 1, ito yon, Tapos, 1.2. Let's say, ito yun. At ang hinahanap ay between po sa kanilang dalawa. So, ang given po natin na graph is yung x score, ito yon ang given, ito naman, z score na. Sino kong na yung z score niya? Given value niya sa z. So, kunin na natin yung equivalent niya sa ating table. Ano nga ulit yung equivalent ng 1? Nakita niyo na kanina yun, di ba? Sinob na natin. So, yung equivalent po ng 1 ay 0.3413. Yung equivalent naman po ng 1.2 ay 0.3849. Ah, alam nyo na kung paano kumuha. So, eto po, that is uh, 35 to the mean, that is 0 0.3413. Yung 40 naman, up to 46, that is 0 0.3849. So, anong gagawin? Since ito yung buong hinahanap, you will, yes, you will add the 2. So, 0 0.3413 plus 0 0.3849 that is 0 0.7267. And, kung ang hinahanap is in percentage, of course, multiply to 100. The answer is 72.67%. Which is, eto po, yung sukat na po, between 35 and 46. 
Okay? So, yan po yung probability. We have 72.67% probability that the age of a randomly selected bank manager will be in the range between 35 and 46 years. Okay? Next. Let's have another example. So, for this example po, a company produces different types of energy drinks. The filling machines are just to pour 500 ml of energy drinks into each plastic bottle. Nonetheless, the actual amount of energy drink poured on each bottle is not exactly 500 ml. It varies from bottle to bottle. It has been observed that the amount of energy drink in a bottle is normally distributed, is normally distributed within the mean of 500 ml. Ayan. So, given po natin, 500 ml. And standard deviation daw po is 4.75. What percentage of energy drink bottles contains 505, o dalawa ulit, to 500 X sub 2. Ibang case naman po. Hindi siya katulad kanina. Kasi kanina po, tina natin sa graph. Ang mean mo daw ay 500. Tapos, ang x sub 1 mo ay 505. So, let's say this is our 505. And then, let's say this is our 513. Ano po ang sabi? Contains 502. O, nasan yun? Ito yung 505 mo. Ito yung 513. Ano daw sabi? 505 to 513. So, ito lang po ang hinahanap. O, magkaiba ha? Kasi kanina, dinaanan si Min. Ito po, hindi po. Hindi po dinaanan si Min. Okay. So, now, solve natin yung value ni Z. So, Z is equal to X minus mean divided by SD. And that is, yung is mo ng X. 505 minus 500 divide by 4.75. And that is 5 divided by 4.75. So, divide nyo po yung dalawa. That is 1.05. So, gagawa tayo ng another, another normal distribution curve. This is 0, 1.05. So, let's say ito, dito siya. Yan. And then, isa pa ulit nating x kasi dalawa sila. So, that is 513. Minus 500 divided by 4.75. So, 13 divided by 4.75. And that is 2.74. Nasa naman yun? Let's say dito siya. Ang hinahanap po, contains nitong dalawang to. From 1.05 to 2.74. Okay. So, kunin niya equivalent sa ating table. Si 1.05 po ang equivalent niya sa table ay 0 0.3531. And then, si 2.74 naman, ang equivalent niya sa table ay 0 0.4969. Check niyo po sa ating table ha. So, ibig sabihin... Oh, Pagtingnan po maigi. Sige, gagamit ako ng ibang color. Color green. From 505 to the mean, ilan daw? Ilan daw po? 0 0.3531. Ito pa lang yun. Okay. And then, another color. Another color blue naman. From 513 naman po to the mean, ilan daw po? Ito, itong part na to. Ilan daw? 0, 
0.4969. Okay. Pero anong sabi? Ang kinukuha mo lang po ay sino lang? Ito lang po ang hinahanap mo. Ayan lang pong part na yan. So, ano ngayon ang gagawin mo? O, anong gagawin? Hmm? You need to subtract naman. 0.4969 time minus 0.3531. And that will be the answer for this side or area. Okay? So, subtract natin. Minus 0.3531. And that is... 14.38% or 14, 0 point, sige, umunan natin i-transform. Baka mali to kayo. 0 0.1438. So, ibig sabihin po, sulatan po ng color, ibang color, para di mali to. Ito pong part na to ay 0 0.1438. Kasi pag pinag-add mo si 0.3531 tsaka si 0.1438 ang sagot niyan 0.4969 So ang uh, final answer mo ngayon ay anong final answer? If it is in percentage 14.38% That will be your final answer So now for this topic, which is you need to find the x score, given naman si mean standard deviation and z values, you can watch it in a separate video.